What's up everybody, Kinetic here and welcome back to Diablo 3. This is a special video from me because I get to finally come back to making one of my favorite sort of traditions when it comes to uh, talking about Diablo 3 and Diablo 3 builds. I get to talk about my amazing minion master build, which is just, it's its not meant to be super serious, it's kind of a lighthearted thing, but it is totally viable to uh, to use for, for speed farming if you like. So we're going to talk about that, it's a variation if you're wondering of the, uh, the Gargantuan build, which uh, came to Rise a couple of seasons ago and has been doing very well. Uh, includes a lot of pets, and the the amazing Minion Master version that I've put together, it's actually the simplest it's ever been, but it does exactly that. It just makes having pets and like taking that to the next level of ridiculous without being too ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? Because I could go much further and like add like the the corrupted Ashbringer for the skeletons. I could put the golden gorget of Leor on there for more skeletons and just like have, go like full retard. But you know how that that saying goes. Um, before we get started, and I'm also of course going to talk about the uh, the Greater Rift build, the Firebirds build that has been. Uh, so popular the past couple of seasons. We're gonna see how that build is actually changing now, uh, like we have seen from the uh, the previous videos with the other classes. So here we are. This is the normal uh, Greater Rift solo climb. Now here we are, number one. We can go to the hero details and we can see this is the, the Firebird's Bat uh, built using the Helltooth set. This guy's using the uh, the Jade set actually for his ladder climb. Here we go. There's a uh, there's a gargantuan. Who was that? I believe that's num the first one that I found. It was at uh, at number ten. So again, quite good for uh, for build diversity. So here, if we take a look at the, the season ladder now, this is season nine. The spider set is actually the version, uh, almost the, the same build, like I said again, with uh, with fire bats as kind of like the, the main main damage dealer, but rather than using Hell 2 set, is using the Arakir's uh, aka spider set. Alright, so here we are in game, and what we're looking at is one of the speed farming versions of the Helltooth Gargantuan build. Now, this isn't too far from the, the Greater Rift climbing version either. Just a couple of small changes, like with a passive or something like that. And then there's even, like, an enhanced speed farming version of the uh, the Gargantuan build using Helltooth that has the, uh, the speed chicken uh, skill going, right? Where you transform into a chicken, you're flying across the screen, it's got the, the chicken offhand and, and the dagger, what is it, Mama June or, or set or something? like that right um i've been watching too much deadpool but it uses that and that's that's a bit much for me like i don't need that craziness of, of speed for speed farming i find this is is plenty fast enough uh, especially if you're not trying to you know crank it all the way up to t13 which is pointless anyway uh so there's there's the normal version now how i convert this into my amazing mini master version is uh, is actually like i said more simple than it's ever been we just take and we're gonna swap in the nemesis bracers that, that's a must have for me on any of my speed farming builds i change out the witching hour for belt of transcendence this gives us summon a fetish sycophant when you hit with a mana spender now we have a problem though because with the skill loadout normally for the gargantuan build there really isn't a, a good mana spender that is going to help us consistently pull out uh, fetish sycophants by hitting with a mana spender so what i've done is i, I looked at the skills and to try and understand like what's the point of them being in the build and i found very quickly that soul harvest is really just there as a, a damage enhancer it's not a core skill that makes the entire build work it's just there for more power and in fact that's actually the skill that gets replaced for the the speed chicken version now initially what i tried to use was the fire bat skill as my mana spender you can very quickly cast fire bats start racking up your fetish count uh, very quickly with the skill, but the problem is it left me very vulnerable to getting my ass kicked, and that's exactly what happened. As I was trying to cast the fire bats, I was getting hit by all sorts of things, and next thing you know, I'm dead. Not only does this hurt my defense, but it also hurts the general mobility of a speed farming build when you are when you have to try and stay stationary uh, in many cases in order to, to deal your damage. So I quickly got away from using the, uh, the fire bats, and instead I decided to use Acid Cloud. And Acid Cloud is one of the skills that's listed under the Hell 2 set that is a viable skill for uh, damage uh, empowerment. So with the Acid Cloud, what I do is I go with the Kiss of Death, spit a cloud of acid that deals uh, over 300% weapon damage, followed by another 400% uh, over time, right? So that's a nice uh, damage output right there with, uh, with the skill. And we're gonna need a, a weapon 
first of all, to replace our uh, Sacred Harvester, because we're not using Soul Harvest. So that's what I've got here. The two-hand Suwong Diviner. Acid Cloud gains the effect of Lublub Bomb Rune, but even better than that, you can see uh, listed in the uh, the primary attributes, we can get an increase of up to 100% more damage with our Acid Cloud skill. Now what we see is we've got a really good Mana Spender that deals a lot of damage in a nice big area. It also is going to help us get our minion count up for the amazing minion master build by having the oh so lovable fetishes uh, all around us. We've, I've got an average count of something like 12 or 15 of them at any given time or something like that. And uh, that combined with the, the triple gargantuan, we've got freaking five zombie dogs. Plus, we, of course, we've got our uh, our travel companion. I've got Arena with me uh, for the, uh, the, trick and tra the chicken transformation skill that she has, which is very, very useful. And uh, generally speaking, I mean, it's it's right up there, I think, in terms of the uh, general amount of damage that the normal speed farming build can uh, can do. And it's just a lot more fun, you know what I'm saying? We've, like I said, we've got our minion count up, and it, it's a lot more interactive because we're not waiting around for our gargantuans uh, constantly to, to deal most of the damage for us. We can now take an active uh, role in dealing damage ourselves, which I think makes it a lot more fun. It's a nice balance that I like to strike between being so casually laid back that I don't feel like I'm doing anything and the build is playing itself uh, and, and and something interactive that keeps me focused and keeps me kind of you know zoned into the game you know what I mean all right let's take a look at the new king in season 9 for greater rift climbing this is the spider fire bats build this is a build that like all the other builds that I've covered up to this point the, the contrast between a speed farming build and a greater climbing build is so wildly different in most cases they are much slower more methodical and more technical in general and this is no exception the fire bats using the spider set is a complicated kind of execution and it's going to take a little bit of time to to get used to it uh even for me like i was like what the hell is going on with this build like <laughs> I, I had to take like a couple of runs just to to figure it out and then basically i realized like wait i'm i'm hitting everything i'm blowing all my cooldowns practically on every encounter because that's what this build more or less requires especially if you get to a, uh, a champion pack but once you get the hang of it it is actually quite fun and it's insane like how powerful it is once you start spinning those fire bats dude everything just disappears <laughs> into nothing but chunks after you've hit that for like a second or two it's pretty freaking sweet you might be wondering am i going to talk about the jade harvester set and uh, and how well does that perform how fun maybe is it to play i avoid the jade set really i i I don't think I've ever really played it. I don't have interest in a, uh, a build that, that doesn't carry uh, a lot of pets or even just a couple of pets. If I'm just casting spells, I might as well just play a wizard then. <laughs> that's the way I feel about it. And that's going to pretty much wrap it up for the state of the game on Witch Doctors in Season 9. Diablo 3 Witch Doctors are doing quite well. I think their diversity in the Greater Rift Climb for the season seems to have been hurt a bit, possibly uh, by the, uh, the new buff to the Spider set. But I'm pretty confident that not far uh, behind the uh, the top 10 for the greater rift climb we're gonna find some jade sets we're gonna find some uh, some gargantuan builds and stuff like that they're still viable um, but if you're really trying to be at the top then the spider uh, the spider fire bats is the way to go but uh, yeah that's gonna do it for now guys I hope that you guys are enjoying the Diablo 3 videos here on the channel it's uh, it's my pleasure to, to come back and and talk about Diablo 3 and uh, and builds for the game coming up I'll be doing more of course for wizard monk and crusader now it's probably going to take a little bit longer uh, for those videos to, to come out because i'm still farming for some of the uh, the key parts to to make those builds and to highlight them uh, for example i'm having a hell of a time getting some of the uh, the fist weapons for uh for the monk they really need to to add like some way that monks can target through kadala i think a uh, a way of like consistently getting even just the rare fist weapons that can be converted in the Kanaiku, you know what I mean? It, it's it's kind of a nightmare. But uh, that's going to do it for now, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. Click the like button to support these Diablo 3 videos here on the channel. And make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next video. Thanks again for watching. This is Kinetic, and I'll see you next time.